guys, this is my Nissan Silvia S15. It's an Australian domestic model. The reason why I didn't go for the jet model is because I'm only on my P's and I'm not allowed to drive high performance cars, supposedly. And Australian laws say you can't drive turbo vehicles, V8s and whatsoever. And recently, 2014, which is pretty close, it's 2016, but anyway, who cares? But um, yeah, so they changed the rule in 2014 that you can drive 130 kilowatts per ton. And the Australian domestic model S15 fits that perfectly, and it's a great car, great chassis, everything. So the mods that I've done to my car is uh, it's, it's actually pretty stock. This is because um, the P plate laws, you know, let to do like any performance enhancing mod modifications to your car whatsoever and that's just the way it is but you can get away with a couple of little things here and there like exhaust maybe here and there and like front mount intercooler stuff like that but nothing too major like a big massive fuck off turbo you, you can't have that otherwise you're fucked um, Just like minor mods. So the mods that I've actually done to my car is a three inch turbo back exhaust. Um, I actually originally bought it automatic and I did a manual conversion to it. Um, that was only like two days after I bought it. There was a female driver before from South Australia, which was actually pretty crazy. So she drove it all, all the way up from um, South Australia and swapped it in for a Nissan Patrol, which is actually quite amazing. Um, I don't know why you'd pass this on, but yeah. Um, I'm a second owner since brand new, which is pretty cool. Yeah, okay, it has high kilometers, 190,000 kilometers, but that's honestly nothing major. Like, if you take care of your car, it's really not that bad. You can't really complain for what you get. Got this massive truck in my way, in the all. I'm going to open it up here for you guys so you can hear it. It's just something that you have to deal with. I don't know if you guys can hear that, that's one of my problems, is that I have a squeaky, cl squeaky clutch. And I've tried everything under the sun to try and get this fixed. And I'm pretty sure it's the spring. I sprayed WD-40, everything on it, nothing seems to work. As this BMW tries to pass me and chop me, but... So I'll be, I'll be back shortly. I'm just gonna go grab some petrol and I'll be back. Stance life. <laughs> oh. Guys, this is the cheapest I've ever got for petrol. It's a dollar twelve. A dollar twelve for petrol for 98. So I'm back after fuel. A dollar twelve. Dollar twelve. That is so cheap. I once paid a dollar seventy for ninety eight. Unbelievable. I use this um, app called Road Trip. This is not sponsorship, by the way. I'm just saying it because it's pretty good, pretty cool app. Um, you can put like all your details into the into the app, and it tells you your pretty much kilometers per liter or like miles per gallon in America. If you say that, so I'm just gonna put it in now. Cool. So confusing, but I get 13.17 liters per 100 kilometers, so it's not too bad. Now we're off. I get once again. It's actually so hot. I'm dying in here. 
I don't know where I want to drive to. Americans don't even have S15s, I'm surprised. I know they have the 25 year rule, but it's kind of crazy to me. I want to see the difference, like if they're gonna have, have it in, in America anyway. May as well already have it. <laughs> 